Let's go over facial profiles. You can see in this diagram, our profiles are divided usually into three categories, convex, straight, or concave. The chin and its relationship to the brow bone, the forehead, and the nose plays a big part into what category you will fall into. In a convex profile, the chin is less prominent, and when you draw a line from the nose straight down, it's behind that line. In a straight profile, the forehead, the nose, and the chin are all in a straight line. In a concave profile, the chin is more prominent question was about convex profile so again in the convex the forehead slopes back a little bit and the chin also is less prominent when I have a patient with this type of profile that wants improvement we tend to focus on the nose and the chin for the nose usually we will do a rhinoplasty to decrease projection or make the nose smaller and we work on building up the chin a small chin might be due to something called retrognathia and that's when the jawbone itself is set too far back and in that case they'll have bite issues as well Send those cases to an oral surgeon so they can correct the bite and get good occlusion. On the other hand, if you just have a small chin, also known as microgenia, with no functional issues, we do have a few options. We can place chin filler, we could place a chin implant, or we can do something called a sliding genioplasty. Filler is a great option because it doesn't require any downtime. However, you may need several syringes to achieve a visible result in the chin, and also the results are not permanent, so you'll need touch-ups every couple years. For that reason, many people will opt for a chin implant. The procedure can be done under local or general anesthetic depending on your comfort level. The procedure itself doesn't take a long time, and downtime is about a week. It's not a very painful procedure. Keep in mind though, a convex profile is actually quite beautiful. A lot of celebrities have it. It's not something that you necessarily need to change.